For decades, this production line in France churned out diesel and petrol engines for cars and vans. This is about to change. Today, employees on the shop floor are learning a new skill, how to assemble electric motors. C'est une ligne qui avait été prévue pour 120 000 moteurs à l'année, qui a déjà été modifiée pour pouvoir faire plus de moteurs. On est parti dans l'électrique, on y va et on va plus s'arrêter. The EU is mapping out the route to net zero greenhouse emissions by 2050. By the end of this decade, the goal is a 55% reduction of greenhouse gases compared to 1990 levels. The Green Deal's Fit for 55 plan. Road transport currently accounts for about 20% of the EU's CO2 emissions, and MEPs are looking at how to reduce that progressively and fairly. This regulation is about setting standards for uh, how much CO2 a car can emit. And we are trying that in 2035, all the new cars that are sold cannot emit CO2 anymore. So that means that the car should be battery electric or, for example, run on hydrogen. The cost of running an electric vehicle is already much lower than its internal combustion equivalent. And with manufacturers ramping up production of zero emissions vehicles, battery electric and even hydrogen cars are becoming cheaper every year. Members of Parliament want to see that cost continue to fall, along with more charging points throughout the EU. In 2020, 11% of new vehicle registrations in the EU were electric, and market share is growing. The transition is gathering pace.